So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the bottom right hand corner and click in this area right here where the clock is. Then I'm going to go up to the gear that is right here. These are our settings and I'm going to click on settings. And then I'm going to go over here to the left hand side and I'm going to go down to advanced. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom and it says reset settings. And the option that we want is power wash. Remove all user accounts and reset your Google Chrome device to be just like new. So I'm going to click the over arrow. And it's just telling me it's going to have to restart. So I'm going to go on and hit restart. Okay, so I'm going to say reset this Chrome device. Uh, you probably won't have this option here, so don't worry about it. I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to hit power wash. And I'm going to confirm this by hitting continue. Okay, so it is done with the power wash and it is reset it just as if it was brand new. So I'm gonna go over here and just hit let's go. And you're gonna wanna select a Wi-Fi. So if you're at home, this would be your uh, home Wi-Fi. Or if you're here at school, it would be WISD public. And I'm gonna uncheck this box just because it's optional and I'm going to hit accept and continue and here's where we get to the important step the person the first person that signs into this Chromebook is going to be the owner of the Chromebook and they will have the ability to change any of the other settings so this needs to be a parents email address so I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna type in uh, one of my email addresses And my email address is a Gmail account because I have an Android phone. If you have an Apple phone, you may have to make a Google account if you don't already have one. I'm going to go on and hit next. And now I'm going to need to put in my password. And again, hit next. So I'm going to come down here and accept and continue. You may come to this screen and you're just going to go on and hit continue. Uh, for the student accounts, they don't have this available. And I'm going to go on, I'm going to say no thanks to this, this voice match. And I'm going to hit uh, done. And I'm not going to connect my phone. So here I am signed into the Chromebook. And I'm not going to take a tour. I'm just going to go on and close this. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom right hand corner and bring up our settings again. There it is right here. And then I'm going to come down here and click on people. From here, we're going to go down to manage other people. And here's me. I'm going to come up here, and the first thing that you want to uncheck is enable guest browsing. We're going to turn this off. And then we're going to turn this one on, restrict 
the sign into the following users. Just yours will be here, but that's okay. We're going to change it. So I'm going to go on and click this. And then I'm going to say add person. And this is when you're going to type the school email address for your child. If you don't know their email address, you can just ask them and type it in. Uh, I'm going to go on and I'm going to type in my school email address. And I'm going to click add. And now I am done. I can go on and close this. And what I'm going to do to just test this out is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to sign out. So here I am signed out. I'm going to come down here to add a person because this is not the account I want. If I click right here, I can see it's my personal Gmail address. So I'm going to pretend to add a student. So I'm going to come down here to add a person and I'm going to type in the email address that I used just a second ago, the one for my child, which happens to be my email address. I'm going to press enter. And what it's going to do is it checked a list of, of, of users that can use this Chromebook. And because I added my email address, I was able to get in. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to change this to some other email address. And I'm just going to make up an email address at dot com. And I'm going to hit next. And if you notice right here, it says could not find your Google account. So it's limited. I can only sign in with either my parent email or my student school account. Because students can only sign in with their student account, all of the parental controls, the internet filtering, document filtering that they have at school now applies anywhere that they use this Chromebook.